Welcome to another Everyman Movie Critic, where we bring the love of movies back to you. And as always, it's me, Johnny B. And I'm Scott. So this week we're going to talk about what everything's going on in the world right now. The top outbreak movies, at least by our opinion. And we can't start this out without saying the first one thank you to all the fans who are making our channel possible. We're almost up to 50 subscribers now, and I just want to say thank you guys for your support as we grow, and we just want to say thank you. Yeah. So the first top, the one of the top Outbreak movies, fittingly enough, is Outbreak. And that's the one with Dustin Hoffman, Rene Russo, Kevin Spacey, and Cuba Gooding Jr. And that's the one where they're taking on the Motala virus in California. And they have to catch a monkey and I just thought that was a very fitting movie for what's going on right now because you had one scientist that was flipping out and he was always like trying to get everybody to listen to him and nobody would and then finally somebody did and that's usually how all those movies go I don't actually really remember that movie so um well you're gonna have to do your homework and watch it again now that we're all home doing our working from home or in, if you're an essential employee or not, whether you're in New York State, like we are, only essential employees are working right now from not at home, but at the actual office. All right, so from Outbreak, we have 28 Days Later. Killian Murphy, I believe, was in that movie. It's another one of those movies where the virus spread really fast, kind of like this one right now. We can't mention the name of it because I think YouTube is against people talking about that actual what that virus actually is they can't say it they have to say bud light virus or something like that <laughs> i know it's kind of weird people are getting demonetized for using that term and i might even not even have this <laughs> video show up because of that but anyway so yeah we got uh 28 days later that i did see that was a good what did you think of 28 days later since you probably have it better recollected than i do what I think about it? Yeah. Um, well, it was... I mean, it's like a zombie type of movie. So it's... Um, I mean, all the zombie movies are pretty much the same thing. Um, they, you get infected by a virus, and then you turn into a zombie. Um, they um, go through... Just basically like any zombie movie. Um, I didn't see that any better or worse than any zombie movie I've seen, to be honest with you. The best zombie movie I actually saw was called Ah! Zombie. What was that? That is, um, <laughs> it's a comedy. What they did is they took this perspective. They, the people that got infected as zombies, they were the main people. And they're walking around and they don't understand why everybody's running from them and why they are uh, actually trying to eat brains. And it, they find out at the, towards the end of the movie that they're actually um, zombies. But uh, it's they how, how they got it was um, some kind of chemical got into... Uh, vanilla ice cream, and um, <laughs> they were all working. Wait, on that's not Goop, huh? That movie, uh, Goop or whatever. It was. Uh, never mind. Go ahead. Yeah, but they um, and they had um, were um eating ice cream at a bowling alley, and um, they all had work. A couple of them had worked there, and um, that's how they got infected, and they didn't realize it, and the military's out there trying to kill them and everything, and it's. It's a very good movie. I would definitely give it a thumbs or uh, definitely because <laughs> we we decided last time not to do this for that movie. Well, we're paying homage but, um, to Siskel and Ebert by yeah. doing thumbs up, people. But um, I definitely suggest watching that movie. It's called Ah Zombie. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is not exactly a top ten or anything. It's just the best ones that we think are out there because I don't really like to rank movies like that because they're all good in their own right. Uh, then we'll go on to 12 Monkeys. With that's Bruce another Willis. one. Bruce Willis and um, mm -hmm. Brad Pitt. That's that's one of the best Outbreak movies I've ever seen. Terry Gilliam at his best. I mean, that guy always liked to do those weird futuristic movies anyway. Where he had that really weird version of what the truth should be. Or yeah. It's kind of like what's going on. This guy, the guy was traveling from country to country and mm -hmm. injecting somebody with it. And it's kind of like what's going on right now in the world. It just seems like it's popping up. I'm just trying to wonder if there really is a man-made virus out there. There's the, some conspiracy theories out there about that. When they first started putting the current one out as the initials of it, 
Um, what, COVID-19? Yeah. Okay. They, um, I, I, all I can think of is zombie stuff. I, keep, I just think of um, Walking Dead and um, basically, yeah, like 28 where, days later. Where it comes um, out of nowhere, they're not exactly sure how it started. They need more data. That's exactly what's going on in the world right now. So I don't know how you guys are at home or dealing with all this, but hopefully this video will help get you through some of these, uh, give you something to watch since you're going to be home more and binge watching more. And... But anyway, all right, so yeah, 12 Monkeys was definitely one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Brad Pitt and his crazy eye and his, every, you know, always doing like this to people and he, when we cracks me up every time I think about it. When that. we actually get into uh, the topics about, um, that you had me do, that you want me to host on, um, was the um spoilers we're gonna TV do a tv stuff. shows tv to movies. um yeah and movies that turn into tv shows uh when they came out with a television show for that they actually took brad pitt's character oh, yeah and switched him to a female yeah. but um he had the crazy eye and the middle fingers and it's a different and no they 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 took the i'm gonna have to bleep that out later but um yeah it's a it's a, it's a girl with the same last name different um first name and but this Bruce Willis's character it actually has the same first and last name in it. Now, if you're noticing a different set this week, it's because we're filming at Scott's new house, and I gotta say, guys, it's a nice house. I'm very impressed. So we're gonna temporarily be recording here for a few weeks and see how things go, and then should be back to the old studio in a couple weeks when he gets to go back to work, because now he's working from home. Lucky guy. <laughs> Speaking of Brad Pitt, then he was also in one of the better ones too, World War Z. Mm -hmm. it took forever to get released. World War Z was good. I liked that a lot. Actually. Brad Pitt, yeah. But that had that weird zombie with like, superpowers. They could run yeah, fast. Yeah, they can run. That was, in that was insane. They made quite a bit of video games after that. Did they? Yeah. There's quite a bit of um, World War Z. Or Z, um, Z and they movie. keep talking about sequel, but the director and Brad Pitt, Pitt are not sure. And that thing, that, that, that pandemic thing movie is done to death now. The Walkers, you see, I mean, even... A great show like Walking Dead's popularity is dwindling by the season, so who knows? Maybe people are just tired of it. Uh, now, one that I always liked um, with Will Will Smith, uh, I Am Legend, I was that. all by himself in New York City, and it, the streets of New York right now look exactly like it did in that movie, <laughs> where there's like nobody there. It's like desolate. You could go play golf off of the ship and smash people's <laughs> windows and stuff, and nobody would care. At I don't point. think there's going to be a lion jumping out and eating a deer, though. No. That was one of my favorites. Yes, I definitely liked it. And I heard the ending was a little controversial, too. Spoilers if you haven't seen I Am Legend yet. But the way the ending is now, where it's like this nice, wrapped in a bow, kind of, you know, he walks away and goes, finds the you know, blows up the bad guys and drives off and finds that sanctuary. The original ending was much different. It was actually, he was going to sacrifice. He actually found out that those zombies were afraid of him. And they were only wanting their own because he kidnapped that one female one. And the only reason they came after him is because of that female was in there and the, he wanted his mate back. And he ended up sacrificing himself. Did they change the, um, the ending movie? Yeah. They changed the ending, yeah. Was it, um, I mean, did it, was it originally that, and then they changed it? Yeah, they changed okay, it. I never to saw the, the, the changed version. I saw they the original They version. changed it to the normal version where he goes with that Spanish lady, and they find the sanctuary, and that's what it was changed to. I remember, I remember where he was, um, pretty much going to sacrifice himself at one point. Um, I don't know if that was part of that movie after they changed it or not, or if I actually saw the version before they changed it. I don't remember. I know. I think I pretty much saw it in um, movie theater. All right. So then next we have who can not. I mean, based on a video game, popular franchise back in the '90s from the original PlayStation. And that's Resident Evil. Now this game is very, this movie is very divisive because the people who are big fans of the game hate the movies because it doesn't focus on any of the main characters and he's nodding his head as I can see. And mm -hmm. he was one of those people that agree. I mean, I like the game too, but I like that it was from a new perspective. Yeah. From, not Claire, Alice, or whatever her name is, and what's her name is, is amazing we, as Alice. I mean, I know we covered this quite a bit um, before uh, when we did the um, one about um, video games. Uh, but yeah, I mean, my opinion doesn't change with that. Um, I don't really like Alice. I mean, she's cool for... But Mila Jovovich did a great job. Yeah, she did. I mean, come on, she was hot off the heels of um, just doing... Um, 
Fifth Element with Bruce Willis. That was a great movie. She was great kick-ass in that. Now mm -hmm. she's coming out with another movie where she's going to be. It's like a monster hunter movie or something with her and uh, some martial artist actor. And if you haven't seen that movie or that episode of Check It Out, I'm going to leave a link above for it. The best comic book or video game turn movies. Alright, so from Resident Evil we have Dawn of the Dead. That's another one that was um, a remake. I'm talking about the remake with Ving Rhames. And I thought that was, my, my opinion, that was better than the original. But that was my first introduction to a Zack Snyder movie. Those, um, Dawn of the Dead, and um, they're like a pretty much a series. Um, if you go back to the original one, and that, I mean, yeah, they're the series, they yeah. kind of fall right through everything. Everything, um, you can watch them, you can watch one back to back, and, um, yeah. I mean, they're a little different, but they're basically the same thing. Um, I mean, did they ever really say how they got infected? No. Like, like the none first... of those. None of those movies ever commit to anything because yeah. they don't want to give anybody ideas, mm -hmm. I guess, or something. Well, the first thing that I remember from the first ever one was that um, um, when they're in the cemetery and they're joking around. Um, that's the first one. Of the one. Dead? Well, it's the first or one from the... Night of the Living. Yeah. Where they're... Um, then there was Dawn of the Dead, and then yeah. there was Day of the Dead, and then there was Land of the Dead. You got the one in the mall. That's Dawn the of one, the Dead. Yeah. They're all... I mean... It's all pretty, I mean, they get smarter. Each, all the zombies get smarter and smarter in those, though. That's the one, the one difference with that. Now, so. another one we were, I was thinking about, um, and another one, here we go again with another video game one that's also divisive, Doom with The Rock. That's another one that takes place on Mars. And I have one other movie based from Mars, too, coming up. But, again, it's another divisive one where some people liked it. And some people who liked the game didn't like the movie. I personally liked the movie because I like Rock, The Rock. I don't think he could do any wrong. I love all his movies for what they are. I think he brings a great chemistry to the sc or a great presence to the screen. Very watchable. And he's, he's a kick-ass. He just, he's just kick-ass. And you didn't like Doom, right? I didn't like Doom at all. I didn't like Not the even the first-person shooter thing at the oh, end? Oh, I hate that. I don't like That's why I don't like the game. Is because I don't like first person shooters. See, that's what people actually, anybody who criticizes this movie, always says Wish that that even was more in the movie. Yeah, I, I would have hated it even more than that. I thought the game, no, I thought I didn't like the game that much. Um, the movie itself I thought was dumb. Um, it seems like when you take a game like that, certain games, it's they don't make a good movie with it. And I thought that was definitely. Um, not to my liking. Well, then it was one that is also on Mars, and that was Mid uh, Ghost of Mars, John Carpenter, and his uh, semi-comeback to making movies like that, where a group of people are going in to save some people and find out what happened, like a la, you know, pretty much all his movies <laughs> had that element to it, like uh, Assault on Precinct 13. Mm. Um, I like that. New uh, um, Escape from New York. All of those movies had some element of somebody going to try to save somebody or surviving something, and I do like that. That's pretty cool. Um, but uh, Ghost to Mars, I love that movie because Ice Cube was pretty decent in action movies. Um, Natasha Richardson, she's hot and she's she's a good actress. You even got a Pam Greer in there for a hot minute. But they, and again, it's another one of those where they don't really commit to how those people ended up infected on Earth. There was some ghost that was infecting people or something. I, I don't know. It was kind of vague. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if I watched that movie. I remember it being out. Wait, the movie yet? Oh, you're talking about Ghost of Mars. <laughs> yeah, Ghost of Mars is what I'm talking about. Yes, I remember both of it, actually. But um, the Ghost of Mars itself... Um, I don't know if I saw it. I remember seeing pictures of it, and I remember, and I don't know if I was, if I wasn't watching, if I wasn't working at the movie theater when they came out, I probably didn't watch them that, unless they, I watched them later on at home. Well, I know that came out in the mid-2000s, early 2000s, Ghost of Mars. So, what about Cabin Fever? You've Cabin seen Fever, that. Cabin Fever, I did see, yes. And I saw Cabin Fever 2. The direct-to-video one? 
I don't know if it was direct to video or not. I, I don't know the difference between a direct to video and a in theater movie. You can usually tell by the with production of quality of they, and well, the actors that they use. They get a lot of no name actors to do sequels. To be honest with you, when I see a direct to video movie and when I see a movie from a theater, they look like the same quality to me. Most of them. I mean, there is some that are not very good quality, but um, yeah. So I can't. I would never be able to tell you what the difference is between a direct-to-video and a um, theater movie because most of the times they're the same quality to me. Some are. Some direct-to-videos actually have ended up better movie quality than yeah. the actual theatrical release of their original movie. Like Kickboxer 1 with Van Damme had a good... But Kickboxer 2 with your buddy Sasha Mitchell was just as good. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I mean, there really wasn't too many movies out there that we wanted to talk about that we knew. I mean, if we missed any, by all means, leave us a comment below and let us know. Also, if you are, haven't subscribed already, this how Facebook works is, or how YouTube works is they they like it when people are watching your movie or your episodes. And the best thing you could do for our channel, if you really like us, is to share our content on your social media. That'll definitely blow us up more and more. If you like what you see and you want to see more, you know, subscribe, hit the like button. No hand touching because the coronavirus. This is my new greeting for everybody. Wakanda forever. If anybody gets too close. But anyway, thanks again, guys. Again, leave a comment below on ones we missed that you would like to talk. Maybe we could talk about it in a part two of this if we decide to do that. But we just wanted to have kind of like a quick fix for you guys for for this time and uh, and what's going on in the world right now. And we hope you guys are all staying safe, washing your hands, practicing social distancing, 15 days to slow the curve or the the spread. So, again, thank you, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.